Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to recreate the Star Wars intro in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve and I want the edit page and I'm going to show you how to recreate the Star Wars intro in DaVinci only in the edit page. Obviously you can do probably better and something that is more accurate in Fusion, but right now I'm going to show you a very easy beginner version in the edit page. So first off, we're gonna go over to effect, titles, and we're gonna bring a text plus in our timeline. We're gonna select that text, and we're gonna go over here in the inspector, select title. We're gonna change the text. We're gonna write Da Vinci here, for example, and I'm gonna change the font for Montserrat. And for the format, I'm gonna select black. Whatever font you use, just use like a big, bold font, and that should do the job. Then you can go over to color, and then you can switch that to yellow. Now we're gonna go over to shading and here we're gonna switch from fill to outline. Let's raise the thickness a little bit. Perfect, now let's start to animate this. So we're gonna go back to text. I'm gonna go at the beginning here of the text and I'm gonna raise the size a little bit like that. So some of the part of the text are off screen. We're just gonna drop a keyframe right there. So at the beginning of the text and then we're gonna just bring the playhead the end of the text and we're gonna reduce the size down to zero and basically we put two keyframe point and now if we play it that's the animation going on perfect i'm fine with this now to make it look like it's fading in the distance towards the end we're just gonna do an opacity animation so we're just gonna drag that little slider right there about one second backward but now if we play it it basically fed out our text towards the end of the animation now let's move on to the second part with the scrolling text. So we're gonna bring another text plus in the timeline right there. I'm just gonna put it towards the end of the first text and we're gonna extend it quite a fair bit. Obviously extend it as long as you need uh, depending on the length of the text that you want to input. Right now for me, I've just basically copy and paste some text from the DaVinci Resolve website. Here, I'm just gonna paste it in the text area. If you paste your text, you're gonna have like a one long sentence so just go towards the end of the line and then hit enter and you just can create your layout like that and trying to have a text block that is quite even. So here we're going to change the font again for Montserrat. We're going to leave it as semi bold. We're going to change the color here to yellow. We're going to reduce the size a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And here, very important, we're going to scroll down to H justify and we're going to drag that all the way up. And as you can see, it's moving all text so everything is justified properly. Perfect, we got our text material. Now we're gonna move on to creating that perspective effect. So we're gonna go over to open effects and we're gonna just write transform. And here we're just gonna drag the transform onto our text. Now in our inspector, it unlocked that effect tab and now we can just click on that effect tab. And here we're just gonna go down to pitch and bring that all the way up. Then we're just gonna scroll down to image adjustment, select crop. And here in crop, we're just gonna bring the crop top a little bit so we can see that it's cropping a bit at the top of our text and then we're just going to bring the edge softness to the maximum as well so basically it's going to look again like the text is fading into the distance now we can see that the perspective is a bit too much we're going to reduce that but we're going to do it here by going back to video and then we're going to reduce the size a little bit until we're reaching the corner down there like this and we have something that is aligned properly on each corner I think I'm happy with that, it looks good. Now let's just do the animation. So we're gonna go at the beginning of the text. We're gonna select setting. And here we're just gonna reduce that slider position. And the text is out of frame. Now we can just leave a keyframe. We can now go towards the end of the text. Just go one frame uh, backwards so we can see a bit, you know, what we're doing right here. And now we can just bring that up until the text completely disappear in the distance. Here we go. And that's pretty much it. That's how we created a Star Wars intro animation in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Obviously, if you want to get a better result, uh, you can just select the right font, the original font used uh, for the movie to get closer to the original result. And you can also make better modification in the animation curve in Fusion. Right now, I just wanted to share with you a very, very quick and easy method to get that kind of result. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. 
Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.